So there's a quick experimental way that we can determine the center of mass of an object uh, as long as you can hang it up. So if you hang an object, it turns out that the center of mass will always hang directly below the point that it's hanging from. Uh, and I'll show why that is in the next video. Uh, but here I'll just show how we can use this to find the center of mass. So if I've got uh, something, uh, I've got this cardboard uh, triangle here, and we want to find its center of mass. Um, if I just take and put it on a little pin uh, and hang it up, and so it is free right now to swing back and forth, right? Uh, but we let it, uh, you know, stabilize at whatever point it's going to stabilize at. So it's hanging, oops, sorry, straight up and down. Uh, and then we have a pendulum, uh, or not a pendulum, uh, a plumb bob, so just a little bit of mass on the bottom of a string. And if we let that hang straight down, uh, we can see all the points that are directly below the point it's hanging from. And so we know the center of mass has to be on this line, uh, which is the midline of the triangle. Because of symmetry, it's not surprising uh, that obviously it's going to be on that line somewhere. Uh, the question is, how can we prove that it's actually, you know, where, where we know it should be, right there? Uh, one third of the way from the bottom, uh, well, we can hang it from another point. Uh, and we should see that once again, when we set the plumb bob up, it should hang straight down. So let me get that set up. All right, so now we've got it hanging from another corner. And so now it's not quite so obvious where the center of mass is gonna be, but we'll let it hang for a little bit, let everything stabilize. Uh, the center of mass will go right below the point that it's hanging from, and then we can figure out it's gotta be somewhere along this line. Uh, and the place where a plumb bob crosses uh, our original line uh, that we had from the first hanging point has to be where the center of mass is. Uh, and we can verify this by hanging it from a third point. So let me get that set up so we can show that this really works. All right, so we've got it hanging from a new position uh, up here, and we can see this hangs at another angle again because the hole is at a different spot. But once again, the center of mass always hangs directly below the point that it's hanging from. Uh, and so again, the center of mass has to be on this line, and we see that sure enough, uh, our plumb bob once again crosses where the other two lines crossed because that has to be the center of mass, uh, which also mathematically we figured out had to be uh, a third of the way up, uh, which uh, it is. You can see... Uh, it's one third of the way from the large base to the, the pointy bit.